fight plan is? Uh, have, you, have you watched any film on Tomas? Uh, and what do you see as his strengths or weaknesses? Yes, uh, I've watched uh, a few fights on uh, Amos uh, Amadek. Uh, my friend Sean Scully, uh, he's a famous painter in New York. And uh, he actually sent me a whole uh, collection of uh, his DVDs, all his fights. Uh, he was light heavy with He fought good speed. Uh, against uh, a few good uh, world-class fighters and uh, it's moving up and, you know, uh, there is, uh, you know, uh, flaws, but I ain't going to tell you because it's on the night and you're going to see them and, uh, you know, I'm going to be my own referee and my own judge because I come to win and uh, I'm looking forward to it and it's a great opportunity and it's going to be exciting. It's, uh, it's a early night, it's a night. <laughs> You've had, you've had some uh, losses recently. Uh, why are you going to be better and, uh, and be more like the uh, try to beat Tyson? Well, um, that's a good answer. A good question because when I fought Tyson, you know, as a kid growing up, I idolized uh, Mike Tyson, and uh, you know, uh, he's uh, such a great fighter and a great power, and uh, you know, just to uh, actually shake the man's hand, you know, it was, uh, it was a, a dream come true, and. Uh, you know, uh, and after it as well, I shook uh, Muhammad Ali's hand because his daughter was there, and I said, "This is the greatest night of my life, far as boxing concerned, so far." Because uh, I'm after beating a legend, uh, meeting a legend, beating a legend, now meeting the greatest all time. And Muhammad Ali threw a few punches at me, and oh, he says, uh, "I'm the greatest, you're the latest." So then, after that, uh, you know, fights were, um, you know, I suppose fight for world title, you know, against Johnny Ruiz, Landon Brewster, the big giant over there, Fadiyev, and. You know, none of them ever materialized, and, and you know the kind of fighter I am. You know, I never really got that hunger. You know, and uh, you know, uh, I just uh, what you call a lovely wife and two beautiful kids. And, uh, you know, and then this call came. You know, and uh, this is like uh, you know, like the father, the priest. You know, and uh, it, it's like uh, uh, you know, they give me a, a second opportunity, and it's like you know, the hunger is back. You know, because. As a kid at nine years old, I wanted to be the first born Irish heavyweight champion in the world. And uh, Thomas Adamak is in the way, and uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. And uh, to talk about strategies, it doesn't matter when I'm in the ring, you know, uh, to say uh, Thomas Adamak's fast, you know, but he has to hit me eventually. And when he hits me, I've got a lot of reach, and I, I know he's not too far away then. You know, and I believe in uh, with the one God, and uh, you know, uh, I just didn't want to leave any stones on the turn. And uh, I hit the test, you know, like a lot of people that uh, walk around and use 10% of their brains at any one time, because that's all they need to do. And, and He helps you to focus and uh, you can start using 100% of your brain. So, you know, this is uh, uh, um, it's exciting because I've already seen the outcome of the fight, you know, and I believe in it, and I'm going to. 
proven on Saturday night that I am a legitimate contender and uh, the future first-born Irish heavyweight champion of the world. You will believe it when you see it, so come Saturday night. And if you don't come Saturday night, try to get uh, a few people together and buy it on TV. Thanks. I have a question to Ziggy Rodowski. Uh, six years ago, you were standing first time next to Tomek Adam against Chicago, and he got his first title beating Paul Briggs. Will you ever imagine that six years later, you're going to sit during the press conference when Tomek is going to fight two, seven, you know, whatever Kevin wants us to believe he is, and possibly in September for the world champion? Would you believe then, 2005? No, I never believed it because, you know, Thomas uh, fought. Uh, Poland against uh, low competition and we came to America and it all happened in America. So, you know, I'm very happy that I work, I work with Galala. I mean, we were very famous, but we never got to win any titles. Tomas, we won two titles, so, you know, God sent me him. So, because I worked very hard with Galala, St. to Ducati, you know, we never got, to, we never won a title, but Tomas, you know, we were so lucky we won two titles, now we're going to win the third one. Thank you. Thank you. And not just luck, he's not crazy. <laughs> and he wasn't crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> right, Sam? Where's Sam? <laughs> he wasn't crazy, right, Sam? Oh. Why is it crazy? And God wasn't crazy. Right? <laughs> I, I asked that. <laughs> he was different. He was different, that's good, Sam. Tomas is not different. We just didn't have the luck to win the titles, you know, but we were all. Tomas gets credit. He works well, hard. Tomas the first Polish world champion. Solid. He works hard. He does everything he needs to do. And he is all there at the fight, focused 100% doing everything he has to do. And believe me, it's a lot more fun watching the fight. No offense to you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but I like to play the fight was better. Better. I mean, he also made a lot of money for me to manage too. Yes, he did. And Tomas too. And Tomas too. And so I send you, I send you all the stars. <laughs> Yeah, but you guys do you guys do very good work. Thank you. Actually, we got the big boss on board, so that's why we're number one. <laughs> number one. <laughs> <laughs> Without the big boss, we we would know what to do. We're in we're in a a we would know what to do. That's <laughs> correct. Uh, but Tomas, uh, what did you learn from the fight against Michael Grant? Uh, you know, uh, as far as what it's like to fight a guy that's that size, that's Klitschko size. I don't know. Later, uh, let me. Every day a little bit. I'm changing my style, you know, I'm more flexible. Uh, keep, uh, keep it nice, you know. Uh, I move uh, left side, you no know, right, like in Europe. Uh, when, you, when you see my uh, first fight in the um, heavyweight, uh, now I'm made more, more, much different, you know. But, you know, I'm uh, every day a better fighter, you know. I'm go to title fight, you know. I make everything we win fights on Saturday. If we uh, for show, we might even be, be third category champion. I'm training very hard. I'm respecting everybody.